hurts. My finger hurts, but you know, I, I want to be out there as fast as I can. But uh, I don't know. What did you see out of Jeff on Saturday? I saw a lot of great things. You know, especially me coming late to camp. I really saw a quarterback out there who was really knowing what he was doing, going through his reads, and it was good for me. You know, it sucked obviously being on the sideline not playing, but it was good for me to. Learn from Jeff and see him go through his progressions, his reads, and uh, lead the team. You know, and so whenever he came to the sideline, I told him what I saw and everything, and he told me what he was thinking. So you know, I got a lot of mental reps out there. So that's good. Uh, I think Jeff had a big advantage. He got to watch Marcus do it for three years, and he got to see how things are done when they're done the right way for the most part. And I think Vernon can need some of the same things. There's still some things that I think Jeff does a little cleaner and crisper because he's been around here. So I think that's good experience for the Are you treating this week like you did last week, kind of waiting to see how Vernon feels before deciding on the starter, or do you guys know that already? No, we don't know yet. Um, uh, he, he's definitely improving. I think there's no risk anymore of furthering the injury. Um, so we just got to watch him for this week and make sure he's up to speed. Our whole offense is Wildcat. So when people talk about Wildcat, it's running with the quarterback. Yes. really some people just put some else and put them to do it. In my eyes, Brevin is a quarterback. He is one of the best high school players in the state of Texas his junior and senior year and played a ton of quarterback. And I got a lot of trust in him to make decisions and do the 